Yeah, so this is not ending when it comes to Dan Wooten, guys. Byline Times have come out with the fourth part of their investigation and with witnesses coming forth, and it is diabolical. Hey guys, it's Marab Moradi. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Click that button and subscribe. I'm off to my brother's wedding, which is why I'm in a tux. I'm gonna wrap this video up quite quickly. I am voted at the BCAA Awards for Royal Model of the Year category. I would thoroughly appreciate it if you guys vote. Um, and let's get straight into this video. So it looks like Dan Wooten paid porn stars with Sun's Depp's money for covert catfish sex videos. Dan Wooten paid adult film stars to meet gay men he had catfish in order to secretly record them having intimate sex. Wooten rented the Facebook profiles of at least three different male porn performers for up to 500 pounds a time before posing as them and tricking his targets into meeting to be covertly filmed with cameras he supplied. At least one of these meetings took place in a hotel paid for by Rupert Murdoch's The Sun's newspaper, of which Wooten was associate editor at the time. The journalist also charged a 1.5k porn star's fee for the private work to his then employees, disguised as a payment to a contact for a front page story about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. In this fourth part of a special three-year investigation to Dan Wooten's personal and professional conduct, the male porn stars have revealed how the presenter paid to use their Facebook profiles to target men of interest. One told this newspaper, Dan used to pay us anywhere between three to 500 to use our Facebooks. I didn't know these people he was messaging. It was all males. He was messaging me. He was messaging as me, basically, as well. Wow. Lord, 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 Lord. In 2016, Wooten told the two porn actors then in their mid-20s to meet him outside their offices in London Bridge and issued them with details of a target filming equipment and directorial instructions. There were two cameras and an iPad we had to pick up from Dan from the Shard. He noticed that the iPad was logged into Wooten's Apple's iCloud. This was in 2016 um, as well. But Dan's like, I don't care what he says. You get in there and you get the film. Before you even go into the house, get the cameras on. I want the walk-in. You can't effing do that, Dan, um, says the presenter. The first actor was reluctant to carry on without the target's permission. So I said to the second actor, we're not going to do that. When they approached their target, he was skeptical. Guys, this is really bad. He's basically persuading these people who really need money, you need to get these films without their consent. Wooten always booked the hotels where some of the meetings took place. Among these occasions was one of June 12, 2016 at the Holiday Inn of London's Commercial Road close to Wooten's flat at the time. And on one at least one of these occasions, Wooten paid the adult entertainer's fee with the son's money. On 10th of June, 2016, Wooten sent an email from his work address to the newspaper's clerk registering the porn star as a new payee. The email which Byline Times has obtained reads, I need the second entertainer set up as a new payee, please. He needs to put down this money urgently on the Amber Heard splash. So he's even using the Amber Heard Dan story as well. So in this part, there have basically now been several other people who were actors, sets were actors, who are coming forth as witnesses saying that he was buying our accounts, wanting to use them, we desperately needed the money, and he was pretending to be that person to message all these people. Then he would meet these actors outside the son's offices and says, here's the technology, here's the instructions, you need to film every single part, especially when they walk in. So my um, conclusion to this is that A, he was doing it because he wanted to see these people in these kind of aspects, these famous people that he wanted to film without their consent. B, I think he wanted to get that footage to use it as bribery, to say, listen, I work for The Sun, we're gonna get these news articles out when it comes to you, and if you don't let us run these stories, or if you wanna press charges, we have videos of you being doing X, Y, Z with this sex worker, and now I have the ammunition on you. So that is why I think that a lot of people have not spoken out on this, as opposed to Philip Schofield and Hugh Edwards, because he probably has been doing this for a while as these witnesses and evidence has come forth, and therefore has a lot of stuff on people, which is why they're not running their mouths on him, because he will release the footage or, you know, basically destroy their careers. That is why I think this is happening. If we look at it from that angle now, which I haven't really been doing, and now I see it from that perspective, it's a very controlling demeanor, and it is very dangerous to film people without their consent, pressurizing those to do it. An illegal, illegal matter here, yet Dan is still on GB News with all these horrific allegations, that whether you're a fan of GB News or not, when somebody has these allegations, significant amount, multiple people, plethora, they should not be online or presenting. And that's exactly what he said about Philip Schofield. He said the same exact words. So why doesn't it apply to him?
but instead he wants to crowdfund, make money out of the situation, and people are giving him nearly 30, 40K that he's gonna use on his own. Because I don't know or see how he's going to sue Byline Times because they're the ones front running this entire situation. Especially if there's witnesses and evidence, you can't sue for defamation if they have not defamed you. But yet again, more witnesses have come forth saying that they've been pressurized, they've been forced to do X, Y, Z, he would buy their accounts, pretend to the email and act as somebody else, try to get videos without the consent, probably use it as ammunition in my opinion. Wow. Are we surprised guys? There's a fifth part as well that I wanna go into in the next video, but a lot is going on with Dan and I know that the interest is waiting on the situation because you know it's not as a trending new conversation anymore, but I think the conversation needs to be highlighted for how grown men use their money and abuse and power to manipulate young people who are and exploit their environment and use them for their gain to then commit further crimes. Absolute mess. Let me know what your thoughts are, subscribe to the channel, click that button, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.